Hey, it's Jessica, senior agronomist here at Sound Agriculture. I am in a field in Utah today, taking tissue and soil samples. Why am I doing this? We're doing soil health samples on a lot of the fields we're working on this year to test how the microbiome of the soil, or also known as the bugs and all the fun uh, microbial activity in, in the soil changes when source is applied to the field. Um, something that I've noticed in this field and many fields that I've sampled over the last couple of months is that the areas where I'm taking soil samples that have source applied oftentimes appear to have a little bit more water holding capacity to that. And how I see that, um, let me demonstrate here. So right now I am in a pivot field. Sorry, we're in the non-treated area before the fifth and we are in the treated area after the fifth. So if we look here, we've got one, two, three, four, five. That's our fifth round. So I'm in the untreated soil at this moment. So first to clear the area of any debris on the top of the surface. And then since this is a soil health test, we wanna get as close as we can to the root zone. So I've got my probe down there where I'd cleared off some area and I'm just gonna stick the probe into the soil with some fair ease over here. Like. All right, so here's the soil that came out of there. You can see that with some ease, I can easily break this up. Um, there are some chunks still in here. A lot of this has to do with the makeup of the soil, how easily it breaks apart. Um, for instance, if you hi have high levels of say, uh, magnesium in your soil, then it might be a little bit more sticky. Um, if you have more clay content, it'll be a little bit more sticky. But overall, you can see kind of the texture of the soil, um, what is happening here. Now we're gonna go over to the source area. So we see our pivots, we see our rounds. We're gonna take our probe and walk on over to the source area. We'll go right here, pick a random spot, and we'll shove away like we did last time, clear the surface there, stick our probe in, and push it in with a little bit, a little bit more difficulty here. All right, to start, you can even see how much it's sticking in the probe, whereas the other one just fell out. But let's take a grip of it. We'll just dig right up and we'll see just the amount that it's sticking to my hand. This clearly has more water in it. All right, so why does this happen? One thing that we know about water and soil is that water flows through soil, but it also clings onto soil. In soil, you have what are called macropores and micropores. This is where not only can you have pockets of water, but you can also have little pockets of nutrients. And this helps in situations where, say you don't have a pivot or your water gets shut off or whatever might happen, even if you're in all of a sudden um, a really hot day and your pivot can't get to that area in time or you don't have a pivot at all. It's good to have those micro and macro pore spaces, uh, a lot of them in your soil, because that means that you'll have access to that water and to those nutrients when water coming from the surface isn't able to get down deep enough into the root space in time. How you create more macro and micro pores in your soil. Um, macro pores um, are probably the first thing that you'll have, you'll be able to gain more readily. Um, macro pores, a lot of times, you can create more through reducing your tillage and through different management practices, which allow the soil structure to really build up and become healthy. Micro pores are more made when you have a, a healthy and active microbiome. So it's really important to have these healthy microbial uh, systems happening within your soil because not only the, does that allow you to access more nutrients in the soil because those bacteria, fungi, protozoa, all of the above are able to actually extend the arms of, of your plant, your corn plant, whatever it is, and bring the nutrients back to your plant. 
but they can also create these little pore spaces that are pockets of nutrients, but also water. So we are seeing, what I've been seeing in fields with source is that it seems to be that there is a larger water holding capacity that we are seeing. And this is in relation to an active microbial population in the soil. All right, stay tuned for more. It's been a great season so far.